Andre here from the Middle Big Escape Artist and today I've got something really interesting to show you. Um, I have got myself the Adventure Hammock Systems car hitch mount in uh, XL size and uh, we're going to talk about that right now. So guys, this is a hammock hitch hang or well, hammock uh, stand for your tow bar hitch. And I got this from a company called Adventure Hammock Systems. Um, they've rebranded to this from McLean's Metalworks. Sorry, it's a bit windy here today. Um, but this is a very, very interesting little piece of kit because you can suspend a up to 11 foot, I believe, hammock from this guy just from the back of your car. So you don't need any trees, you don't need any of that sort of stuff. Um, and it looks really, really well made. I'm sorry it's a bit dusty now, but it, I had to get out, so <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, it just attaches straight to your, um, your two inch receiver. And uh, yeah, I think it's amazing. So what I think we'll do is let's get this set up and um, I'll show you what we're talking about. So in addition to the hitch, you also get these poles. So I'll just show you what they look like. So I did opt for the bag. You can also go without a bag. They just come with sort of a plastic bracket that holds the poles in place, which is quite cool actually. All right, so now this is what the actual poles look like. So this is the last end bit with your hammock hitch. So this is where your hammock would attach to. The poles look amazing, they're super thick. Wow. All right. So I think what we'll do is I'm gonna get these assembled and on the car and then uh, I'll bring you back. All right guys, so let's get this thing assembled. So what you'll need is this is the first little piece. This is the extension piece that turns it from the normal to the XL. Um, it means that the end points of both bars are further apart so you can hang a longer or wider hammock. So, first piece goes in just like that. Let's do the other side. Alright guys, so the next two pieces are just these standard pieces. They just slide in like so. I've got to tell you, each piece of the components is really, really well powder coated in this sort of matte black uh, look. You can also get them in a bare steel sort of look. I like this. I think this looks great. So, next two pieces. Alright, so these are the final two pieces and you can tell because your hammock attachment is right at the end. So you obviously want these facing inwards. So let's just connect them right there. And right there. <laughs> Guys, so there's your, uh, there's your hammock stand. It's amazing, it goes together really fast. I'm quite impressed with that. Um, yeah, I like it a lot actually. It seems really, really stable. Um, it's not super high off the ground. So if you're one of those hammock people that like to hang quite low or in quite a bit of a banana, um, your mileage may vary, so keep that in mind. But I think this is great. That's awesome. All right, so the next step is to get a hammock on this and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. But uh, actually there's one more piece of gear that I need to tell you about. Um, let me grab it. So guys, in addition to the hammock hitch and the poles, you also have the option to get yourself a couple of awning poles. Now these are really, really, really cool um, because they've got these little plastic clips on so you can set the height of them. But these just clip into the ends of the poles and then you can hang a top directly over your hammock and maybe attach one side to the car and the other side to some poles. That's phenomenal. It that really is awesome. So I'm just gonna get these on. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need them because we're not, we're not uh, gonna have any rain tonight, but uh, I'll put them on to show you. Um, yeah, I think they're great. They're aluminium poles. They've got this little um, sort of extension 
knobby piece here for your actual top to hook around. Um, I think they're great, absolutely great. But let me put them on, I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, so we're at the round of the side of one of the poles here. There's a little plastic sort of stopper that you just pull out and then your awning pole simply slides in. Uh, let me just get it in. I'm just gonna put this on the ground for now. Your awning pole simply slides in and this little plastic guy on here, that sets the distance. So you can push this out further or bring it back in. I think that's pretty good for me right now. So just do the other side. I think this is a phenomenal piece of kit. I really do. This basically takes all the guesswork out of going out and, uh, and having a hammock hang. Um, this basically means that not only do you not have to rely on trees, but you can hang this anywhere. Anywhere your car can go, you can now have a complete hammock setup. And I think that's fantastic. In addition to that, you can also hang a top directly from these poles, which is <laughs> it's phenomenal. And the entire kit, it weighs a bit. I'm not exactly sure what the weight is. I might put it up on the screen here for you when I get home, but uh, it's not weighty. You're probably not gonna, make, gonna notice it in your car. Um, I think it's great. And the best part about it is because the bag straps down, it doesn't rattle in your car. You don't know it's there, it's not loud. You don't even notice the hammock hitch on your car even. Um, so I just leave this thing attached to my car permanently now, just in case. Um, but yeah, so as far as I know, you can hang up to an 11 foot hammock off of this hitch. Um, so today I have got the Haven XL with me and we're gonna see how that works out on this. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be totally awesome, but uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when the hammock is all set up and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there guys. Oh, I love it, it's so cool. <laughs> I gotta tell you though, that my Jimny has had a two inch lift and I've got slightly bigger tires on there. So the hitch is higher off the ground than it would have been on a normal Jimny. So just keep that in mind. Um, if your car is low or lower, you, you know, you might be very close to the ground when you're putting a hammock up and you might have to add a lot of tension um, to the actual hammock to lift it off the ground a bit more. But um, man, I think this is incredible. But I'll bring you back when the hammock's up. Yes. I can hear that I'm on the ground here. So maybe this isn't the right hammock for uh, the car hitch. But yeah, I think that's great so far. The Haven, I don't think is 100% compatible with what I'm trying to do here with the car hitch. I think that that's what's causing us some difficulty here, but it'll be totally fine for tonight. All right guys, so I've got the hammock set up now and I gotta tell you, I'm a really big fan of this system. I think it's great. I really do. What I've got here is the Haven XL. I've got it set up on the, um, on the hammock hitch. Now I don't think this is the perfect combination. I think the Haven XL needs to be significantly higher off the ground. Um, but in a traditional hammock, you'd be totally fine. 100% fine sleeping in this. Um, but yeah, because the Haven comes down a little lower than a traditional hammock, I feel like this is a little low to the ground. 
even though my car's had a two inch lift, I, it's still very, very low. It's not easy to get in and out of. Um, but when I put my one wind 11 foot hammock up at home to test it, that was totally fine. So I'm going to err on the side of saying this is more suited to a traditional style of hammock, 11 foot or maybe a little shorter. Um, I think that's great. Now, I haven't put the top up because I'm just not going to need it. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll do that, but I'll show you that next time. It goes together super fast. It is really, really well made. As far as I'm concerned right now, it is awesome. I'm very happy with it as an addition to my kit. I think what I'll do is if I'm going to a site I've never been to and I'm taking a hammock, this will definitely be in my car, um, just in case there isn't a suitable place to hang a hammock. Um, so I think it's great guys, for the money you pay to get this, I think it's incredible value. And with the addition of the top extensions, you've got a full system. And I think it's great, it's awesome. Really, really cool, really cool piece of kit. Adventure Hammock Systems, McLean's Metalworks, you guys did super well with this. I'm really keen to try it out tonight.